hey guys i'm back with another video hey guys welcome back to the channel yes i am back with another video welcome back to eat with philly phil let's see what she got for us today all right so today's soul food sunday meal will include some uh fried cabbage where i'm going to actually bake it off in the oven as well some pork neck bones that i will be baking and some candy yams and cornbread. I may do some macaroni and cheese, not sure. All right, I'm not going to put a lot of seasoning on here. I'm gonna start out with a little Saison Tropical. A little parsley. A friend of mine keeps telling me to get me a bunch of little glass dishes or small bowls to put all of my seasoning in. I'll get around to it. Maybe someone will get me that for Christmas. <laughs> Some Tony's. Paprika. <clears throat> of course, onion powder and garlic powder. Ooh. About a teaspoon of <clears throat> a teaspoon of each. This seasoning is rough. And a few red pepper flakes. Not a lot. Don't want to make it too spicy. <clears throat> Finally, my original saison. Put about a half a pack. Now I'm going to rub all of this in there. All right, so I have all of the seasonings rubbed in nicely into our neck bones. Now, I actually do not boil my neck bones. I bake them. Make sure, that's why you want to make sure you clean them really well. So I'm going to get my uh, roaster pan. Okay, so I wash my hands. Here's the pan. Gonna pour these in there. Okay. Now we have them in there all nice. All right. We have some bell peppers, the colorful ones. Green bell peppers. Garlic, fresh garlic, chop it yourself. Don't use minced garlic for this. And two onions, medium size. Okay, then we're gonna add a little water to this. And I have the oven preheated at 350. I'm gonna put this in the oven and let them bake for about an hour and a half or so, okay? I will bring you guys back in a little bit. So I have one cabbage cut up, nicely chopped. I'm gonna season it up with my normal seasoning. You guys have seen me cook my cabbage before. So, of course, you know what all. Onion powder, garlic powder, my Tony's. About a tablespoon. You want your cabbage to have good flavor. Okay, so I added some Saison. I'm gonna add some black pepper. My phone started ringing while I was seasoning it up. I added a little parsley, red pepper flakes, paprika, and a little Italian seasoning as well. So now we're going to mix this up. I'm gonna fry this in that bacon fat. Some garlic. Five cloves of garlic chopped up, one onion, and some red, green, and yellow bell pepper. And I will add a um, add a little sugar to this as well because cabbage can be a little bitter. I don't want to lose any of my seasoning. This chopping board is clean.
All right, I'm gonna get this to fry up and I will bring you guys back. So the cabbage is done. See all those pretty colors in there? I fried it a little bit and then I put it in the oven and it finished off in there. Took it about 10 minutes. The baked seasoned neck bones are out of the oven. I have the cornbread muffins baking, homemade cornbread muffins, and the candy yams will be done in a minute and it'll be time to eat. Okay. The buttered cornbread muffins and candy yams are done. It is time to eat. What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good Sunday. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, Soul Food Sunday. And I'm all alone today. All right, let's bless the food. Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. What's up, guys? How are you all doing? I am home alone. I have no guests today. All right, as you saw from the title, today is Soul Food Sunday. Finally, I have a Soul Food Sunday, huh? So we have homemade cornbread muffins. Made these myself, just some, add a little sugar to them, some milk. All right, candy yams. And smothered cabbage with baked neck bones. You guys eat neck bones? It's nothing but, it's like eating a rib, pork rib, that's all. They just call it neck bones. And I absolutely love them. And if you don't bake them, try it. I think you'll like it. And I have some H2O today. <laughs> I know, water. So what's going on? You guys been enjoying my videos with my guests? I certainly have enjoyed making them. It's been a blast having them join me for videos. I really do like that. So hopefully I'll have some more coming up real soon. All right, let's get into this. I love cabbage. I normally eat it with rice, but I didn't feel like cooking any rice. So I'm just going to dig in with the, let me see here how this tastes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and moist, good. Not too sweet. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. And I put butter on them as soon as they came out of the oven. Let me try it with some of this cabbage with all of these colors in it. The green, the yellow, and the red bell pepper. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I didn't have any candy yams for Thanksgiving, so I decided to cook me some today. This is good. I like to get everything in one bite if I can. Oh, this cabbage is... You guys saw how I seasoned the cabbage. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. Mmm. If you don't eat neck bones, hey, if you eat ribs, you eat neck bones. Mm. And they're so tender. They're not spicy. They're seasoned just right. This cornbread is really good. This is my first time eating today. Ah. Hmm. So no football today for me. Cowboys already played on Thanksgiving. But that's okay. As you know, my brothers in Chicago bought tickets for us to attend the game. My Cowboys playing their Bears, so I should be at that game, Lord willing, live on Thursday. And I can't wait. You know I'm going to be filming. I'll be going live and everything. So stay tuned for that, okay? That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, this is good. If my brother Mario was here, he'd say utterly delicious. Mmm. 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 These yams, I put a little nutmeg and just a little bit of ground cloves with it, as well as the cinnamon and butter and brown sugar. 
and a little white sugar. Guys. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that sauce. Mm. And they're not too sweet because you don't want your yams to be too sweet. So you have to make sure you put enough. Just enough. So don't overdo it. As I always say, you can't take anything out, but you can always add more. Oh, this cabbage. I added a little saison to the cabbage. That's why it has that color. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I miss my soul food Sundays. This is good. Oh, I love Nick Bones. These are good, too. Nice and tender. I'm struggling with it. Oops. Food everywhere. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You're gonna eat neck bones, you gotta get down with that. So, how was your Thanksgiving? I didn't um, cook much and didn't post anything. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. Mm. Got juice all over my shirt. These neck bones, you got to know how to find the meat on them. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. That's a small one. Can you see all those veggies? I bet my phone started ringing. I was going to say, you see all those veggies? Doesn't that look good? Mm, mm, mm. And it is good. Very good. Mm -hmm. But I used to boil my neck bones, but I found that it boils away all of your seasoning. So you just have to wash them really good, clean them really well. I mean, you have to clean them really well. And they're kind of, you have to dig for the meat on them now. Sometimes you can get some really good meaty ones. This one, these aren't bad. But with my uh, cabbage, I cut up some bacon and sort of just rendered that, simmered that down, and then I added my cabbage. Mm. And then I finished the cabbage off in the oven. I put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. I wanted the cabbage to keep its crunch. I didn't want it to become mushy. So I didn't leave it in the oven too long. I'm not eating this neck bone right. I need to pick it up, huh? <laughs> There's not much meat left on this one. Nothing but bone. Mm. Now this one has a lot of meat on it. Look at all that meat. Now this one has a lot of meat on it. Look at all that meat. And it's smaller very good this cabbage look at all these colors look at the cabbage mm, 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 mm. delicious mm. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Mm. Some people, and you know, they're starting to mix cabbage with greens. I haven't cooked it that way yet, but I'm going to try that. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. mm, -mm. Y'all, this neck, this neck bone is good. <laughs> it's good. Look at that. That's some good pieces of meat right there. Mm, mm. Here, take that bite. That's a good bite. Yeah, put me a piece of candy yam on top. This is a mukbang bite right here. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, guys, that was absolutely delicious. Smothered cabbage, baked neck bones, seasoned to perfection, homemade cornbread muffins, and your mama buttermilk mix. Add a little milk, an egg, and some sugar, and bake it. And my candy yams. All right, guys. Mm. Oh, I forgot to ask. Is this your first time stopping by my channel? Well, thank you for stopping by. Now I need you to like this video and make sure you hit that red button. Subscribe to my channel, okay? You don't want to miss my videos. Hey, you never know who I'll have in the kitchen with me, and we're having a lot of fun over here, okay? Thank you guys again for joining me. As I always say, you never know where I'll be or who I'll have with me. But one thing is for sure, you are always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. See you guys later. Yeah, yeah.